Hey folks, it's your pal Bobby here, back today with another beef jerky review. And today we're checking out Righteous Felon's Voodoo Chili Carolina Reaper Beef Jerky. Now this is the second time that we're reviewing a Righteous Felon product, and I'm really looking forward to it because I just happened to have a bag of what we originally did, and this was delicious. So I'm hoping that this will follow suit. And one thing that I failed to realize is that on this little mugshot logo, that's actually the cow guess <laughs> when it with this particular package the horns were kind of not the main focus point so I had missed that but anyway we have this guy here he's looking like a Jimi Hendrix cow I suppose you'd say voodoo chili of course I guess is a reference to the voodoo child a song by Jimi Hendrix and he's got his guitar there looking pretty good I like the purple standing out on the otherwise somewhat colorless package Carolina Reaper is interesting as well I found out that Carolina Reaper is actually a manufactured pepper. Like someone developed it, a breeder or something. It doesn't occur naturally in the wild, or at least it didn't, it probably does now. So I don't know if this is going to be very spicy. It says morning spicy, but usually things are not that bad. If we take a look on the back, it's got this funny little story here. It makes it sound like their beef jerky is a, a banned substance. Like they're smuggling it through this place and that place to sell it. Ingredients list looks pretty good. We have the Voodoo Chili Spice Blend, which is, I guess, what this is made with. This is made with the Voodoo chil Chili Hot Sauce. And I was hoping that it would actually contain Carolina Reaper Pepper, and it does. So I guess there's potential for this to be pretty spicy. Thankfully, we are well within the sell-by date, almost a year in advance. It's only July 2023 right now. This is going to be an interesting try. Hopefully, it won't be too spicy, but we'll see if it is or not. And I guess the only thing left to do is give it a try. All right, folks, well, here we have it. This is a beef jerky product instead of a biltong product like they sometimes also offer. And it has a nice color to it. I could be mistaken, but it looks like there's some of that seasoning potentially on this thing. It's uh, kind of not too dry, but it's not moist. It definitely breaks apart pretty easily, but it's looking pretty good. And let's see if we can get any kind of smell off of this. Just giving it a smell, it smells just like beef jerky, maybe with a hint of spice to it, but it basically just smells like beef jerky. So I think the next thing to do is I'm just gonna pop this in my mouth and see if it's spicy or what it tastes like. Here we go. Giving it a little bit of a chew. I see here's a hot pepper. Little bit of spice to it. It's definitely breaking apart in my mouth like beef jerky would. And now that it's breaking up, some more of the spice is coming. The flavor is pretty good. It's a tough beef jerky. It's definitely chewy, but not overly so but definitely you got to chew through it to get the flavors. The spice has filled my mouth and it's actually hitting the back of my throat. But it's actually more flavorful than spicy so far. It tastes good. Let me try a little more. There's a nice big piece. Just sitting here kind of seeing what the spice is like. It's definitely filled my mouth with some spice. The more I talk, the kind of spicier it's getting. But I don't think it's going to reach any kind of level of absurdity. There's definitely a little spice to it. I mean, if you don't like spicy items, this might be too much for you. But I think as far as the spice is concerned, it's on the low side. I don't think they, you know, pack too much 
of the pepper, Carolina Reaper pepper in it. But it, you know, if they did, it'd probably be too hot to eat. I'll try a little more. Okay, well, not too bad. It's definitely chewy like the beef jerky you'd probably expect. Definitely got to chew through it. The flavor is definitely there and the spice is definitely there, but it's not a painful spice. I mean, it's a little hot, but it's not uncomfortable. I can just tell it's there. Now I like spicy stuff to begin with. So maybe for me, this is just right. Uh, where's the, <clears throat> it says warning spicy. I'm not sure if it really needs a warning. There's definitely some spice to it, but. So overall, I would give this, uh, I would give this a positive rating. I don't think I'm in love with it. It's a little chewy, like I said. You know, it makes it seem like it's gonna be very spicy and it's kind of not. I'm not sure if I can taste the garlic. And one thing I kind of am a little disappointed is smoke flavor added. If you're just adding smoke flavor, you know, it might be fine just not to do it. But hey, if you like beef jerky, you're not gonna be disappointed. I'm just not sure if it's the best thing I've ever had. So I'm definitely gonna eat the rest of this bag, but not sure if I'll get this particular one again. So I guess that's gonna do it for us. Righteous Felons Voodoo Chili. Definitely a good beef jerky, nothing wrong with it. Definitely a little spice to it, but overall, eh, maybe I could take it or leave it. This has been your pal Bobby. Thanks for coming to the video. We'll see you guys next time. We humbly appreciate the very important support from our Patreon subscribers.